Sean O'Malley versus Cheeto Vera. What happened in this fight? Well, Cheeto Vera started off very slow, and when Sean O'Malley landed many kicks and body shots to Cheeto Vera, and when Sean O'Malley took round one, after this, Cheeto Vera got rocked with a nasty knee to the head, and Sean O'Malley landed many kicks to the head and body of Cheeto Vera, and when Sean O'Malley even rocked Cheeto Vera at the end of round two, after this, Sean O'Malley took advantage of him being rocked and landed many combinations and many body shots in round three, but then Cheeto Vera landed many knees to the head of Sean O'Malley, but Sean O'Malley still found a way to outland Cheeto Vera in round four. Now that is in round five, Sean O'Malley completely outclassed and outlanded Cheeto Vera. And obviously, I don't even have to say this. Sean O'Malley won every single round and won by decision. Now, my prediction was that Sean O'Malley was going to win the fight, but I didn't know if it was going to be by stoppage or the fight was going to go all rounds since Cheeto Vera does have good endurance and he could take punches. But this fight did show some important things involving both fighters. It first showed that the first fight was all look on Cheeto Vera's side as when Cheeto Vera landed that leg kick to Sean O'Malley and disabled Sean O'Malley, which then caused him to get pounded on by Cheeto Vera and lose the fight. It was all look and it also showed what really would have happened in the first fight if he didn't land that lucky shot. So Sean O'Malley was right on the idea that he didn't see the first fight as a true loss. Now for Sean O'Malley to dominate Cheeto Vera for five rounds straight that badly really makes you wonder is it because Sean O'Malley is improving dramatically or is it because Cheeto Vera is slowly starting to lose it? Well, it's definitely not because Sean O'Malley is declining because if anything, he's showing signs of improvement because for him to get a split decision victory against Peter Young in which most thought he lost a fight and which most thought is a robbery to then dropping Aljamain Sterling and finishing him off definitely shows signs of improvement and it definitely shows that he's not slowing down and as for Cheeto Vera I don't think he's declining I just think that he's not there to the point where he could be fighters like Sean O'Malley which makes sense why he was going into this fight ranked number five because I think that's where he belongs so in the end very good performance by Sean O'Malley definitely safe to say that he redeemed his first and only loss that was against Cheeto Vera that was back in 2020.